Hi everyone, I'm Cameron Turner, VP of Data Science at Kin and Carta, and today we're going to talk about the relationship between data and ethics. One of the things that's emerged is the relationship that we're seeing between transparent AI and sustainable AI, and it travels a course across the data lifecycle. And specifically in AI and in AI modeling, what we're observing is that when you're able to build AI that is transparent, it can become explainable. And if it can be explainable, it has a shot at being ethical. And if it's ethical, then it has a shot at being sustainable. When we as practitioners go and build models, it's very important, not just for the data, but for the models themselves, that we're able to explain what's going on inside those models. But first, we have to understand the good and the bad of the data, and potentially the good and bad of the model itself. Fundamentally, the difference here is our ability to understand ourselves, what's going on inside of our data systems and our models, and our ability to then communicate that out to all of our stakeholders once we have a workable approach. Fundamentally, in order to deem any solution as ethical, we have to look to a broad set of stakeholders, technical, non-technical, internal, external, policymakers. These are all important players in determining ethical readiness of any solution that's deployed. And it's not a one-time step. There's a process of continuous iteration and improvement that has to happen in order to monitor these solutions to ensure things don't go off the rails. And now we get to the difference between ethical AI and sustainable AI. This is where it all comes together because sustainability means not just sustainability for our planet and for all the people involved, but also sustainable in terms of profit and business outcomes. Resilient revenue is based on systems that can adapt over time to changing market conditions. Sustainability has a very special meaning in the area of data and AI. It's not just about building systems that work well today, but building ones that adapt well for the future. And putting those pieces together, it gives you a way to capitalize on data that we've never really been able to do before. You can build systems that are resilient and adaptable and specifically can retrain through automation dynamically and based on market changes, which are happening all around us every day, into systems that don't have to be ripped out and replaced but can stand the test of time and become sustainable. 